Alright, welcome to Geometry A, credit 1. We're on lesson 1.1 1 .1 on page 14. We're actually not going to start on page 14, because um, you can read all the explore and explain sections on your own. Um, and typically, uh, if you've seen my algebra videos, I'm not going to go into the explore and explain sections. Um, you can go ahead and do that uh, on your own time. I'm going to try the problems and kind of explain, um, explain the concepts and the procedures and all that stuff as we go along. So let's take a look at page what, is, what page, page 16 here. Question number one. Um, in the figure to the right, PR equals 12 and QR equals 4. Find PQ. So here's what we know. That the whole length of this segment is 12. right? And we know what QR is. QR is 4. So we know that if we take the distance from P to Q, which we're going to call X, and to that, if we add we add 4, right? It's going to equal 12. So the here's the equation that you're going to write for that. <coughs> you're going to write x plus 4 equals 12. And the reason why this works is because of the segment addition postulate uh, that all the explore and explain sections have been talking about. Um, and now it just becomes an algebra problem. We're just going to solve this by subtracting 4 from each side. And I'm going to assume by now if that if you're taking geometry you have mastered um, mastered the art of solving equations from algebra you should get uh, x equals 8 right? x equals 8 so um, continuing on with the next problem here and not just by the way I should say um, it's not x equals 8 it's p q equals 8 which is what we're looking for right alright question number 2 uh, in the figure to the right, QR equals 45, RS equals 15, find QS. So again, segment addition postulate, we know the two parts. They want to know what is the full part. So if we know that this is 45, this is 15, then it should make sense that 45 plus 15 should equal the whole, which is QS. So um, bust out your calculators if you got one. Uh, 45 plus 15 equals QS. 60 equals QS. Alright, question number three. In the figure to the right, EG equals 12, EF equals 2X plus 3, and FG equals X plus 6. So, um, if we know that the full length of this thing is 12, let's write the equation. The two segments are 2X minus 3, and to that we're going to add, or that's EF by the way, and to that we're going to add the other segment, FG, which is X plus 6. All that equals 12. So we're going to combine like terms here, 3X, right? Because 2X and X are going to combine to form 2X, or 3X, sorry. And then negative 3 and positive 6 are going to become positive 3 equals 12. Subtract 3 from both sides. 3X equals 9. Divide by 3 x equals 3. So that is not the answer. We just know what x equals. So what we're going to do is plug that back in. 2 times 3 minus 3. This is EF, by the way. And I've plugged in the 3 where the x is supposed to go. And when we do that, that's 6 minus 3, which just gives us 3. So EF equals 3. And then FG is going to be what? x plus 6, so 3 plus 6, which equals 9. So EF equals 3, FG equals 9. Okay, so um, I just explained that I'm not going to really get into the explain section, but I, I do want to say this, right? The distance formula is, is a, a derivation of the per Pythagorean theorem, which you might have covered in a previous algebra class. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared is um, the Pythagorean theorem where a and b are the two shorter sides and c is the hypotenuse. And so if you just um, look, if you just find c, right, if you just square root both sides, right, that's essentially what the, um, that's essentially what the distance formula is, right, where a is the x values and B is the y values in this case. So anyway, if 
fit them into this ugly formula and, and you got the key to this whole thing. So let's, let's try that. Determine the length of PQ. So as long as we can draw the triangles, we're okay. So PQ, I'm gonna draw a triangle for PQ, right? Where we don't know the hypotenuse, but we can tell that this this short side of the triangle is two two units. Why did I write draw the upside down? Two units, right? Um, and this uh, is two because one two, right? And this this top side of the triangle is one two three four five six six. So we have a triangle that's two units for one short side, six units for the other short side. So we're finding the distance of this side. We don't know what that is. Okay. So um, we could either use the Pythagorean theorem or we can use the distance formula, which tells us to use the um, ordered pairs here. P is, uh, let's see, P is 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, comma, negative 2. Negative 4, comma, negative 2. Q is going to be 2, comma, 0. And so um, let's do that. Let's we're gonna we're gonna make sure we get the x's together and the y's together into this formula, where it's gonna be what uh, x1 minus x2 squared plus um, y1 minus y2 squared. Um, and I just realized that. Um, in the formula that they said x2 minus x1 <laughs> it doesn't really matter um, but if it makes you happy we could do that right you get the same answer either way but just so I don't want to confuse you guys let's let's do this right and it doesn't matter because you can call this it order point one or order point two or this one order point one or order point two so uh, let's call this two let's call this one how about that so the x value of two is two minus the x value of 1 is negative 4 right if we square that and the y value of uh, the second ordered pair is 0 minus the y value of the first ordered pair is negative 2 we're going to square that okay so I'm going to run out of room but it's okay because we can we can erase that so if we and oh, by the way we're going to square with that whole thing so 2 minus negative 4 is essentially 2 plus 4, which is 6 squared, plus 0 minus negative 2 is essentially 0 plus 2, which is 2 squared. Again, the square root of that. So we're going to get the square root of 6 squared is 36. Uh, 2 squared is 4. So the square root of 40. Okay. And if we go ahead and do that, this is um, 2 squared of 10. Um, and I'm just going to leave it like that. Right, you can come out with a decimal by punching in the calculator if you want, but that's going to be our answer. Okay, so the length of PQ equals 2 square root of 10 uh, units, by the way. Okay, so hopefully you got that, or, or pause the video if you can, because I'm going to make some room for that. Determine whether JK and L have the same length. Justify your answer. JK and LM. Now the easy way to figure out whether JK and LM have the same length is to compare the triangles. Right? This is a 2 by 3 triangle. This is also a 2 by 3 triangle. So the hypotenuses are going to be the same. But somehow I don't think that's what they want. They're probably going to ask us to plug all that stuff in into the equation and go from there. So let's um, let's oblige our uh, math overlords here, and let's come out with the ordered pair for j, which is going to be negative four comma four. K is going to be negative two comma one, and for the other one for lm, it's going to be. Uh, negative 1 comma negative 1 2 3 4 negative 4 and M is going to be what 4 comma negative 2 okay so let's do uh, JK first okay JK right is going to be let's see oh boy okay x2 minus x1 squared plus 
y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so let's call this one, let's call this two. Okay, so um, x2 is negative two minus um, negative four, which I'm gonna go ahead and just call positive four. N minus negative ends up being p uh, plus four there. And then um, the other one, y2 is one minus y1, which is four squared. Okay, so square root of negative two squared is negative, uh, is two, two squared is four. Uh, one minus three is negative three, negative three squared is nine. So we get the square root of 13, which, um, oh, we're comparing. So I'm just gonna leave it as square root of 13. Hopefully we get the same thing for LM. LM, so let's do that. LM. And let's call this one, let's call this two. So uh, again, x2 is four minus uh, x1 is negative one, so it's essentially plus one squared plus uh, y2 is negative two minus negative four is essentially plus four squared. Square root of five squared plus um, two squared. We essentially get 25 um, plus 4. Ooh, I did something wrong. I did something really, really wrong. What did I do wrong here? 4. Let me see. Um, ooh, this, let me see. Four, y1 was 4 plus 4. Good lord. Alright. Is that right? What did I do wrong there? Four, y2 is four, y1 is negative four. Oh my goodness. Sorry folks, I hope you caught what I did there. I got my, my second point wrong. Some of you might have been screaming at me. Second point here is going to be not four comma negative two, it's gonna be two comma negative two, right? And so let, let's try that again, square root of uh, x2, which is 2, minus um, x1, which is negative 1, which is plus 1. Uh, and y2 is negative 2 minus negative 4, which is plus 4 squared. Okay, so that ends up being uh, 3 squared, which is 9. All right, plus negative 2. Uh, minus four is two, two squared, which is four, and yes, square root of 13. Whew, that worked out. Got kind of hairy there, but hopefully you follow along with me and you caught my mistake. Um, and hopefully you weren't screaming too loudly at the, um, at the screen there. But sometimes that happens. And I'm purposely going to leave it there just so you can see that happen. Okay, now explain three is finding a midpoint. And so, um... These next two problems are actually rather easy. The midpoint means that right, these two segments are going to be equal. So all we have to do is write 3x equals 5x minus 6. So we subtract 3x from both sides. We get um, 0 equals 2x minus 6. Add 6 to both sides. We get 6 equals 2x. Then we divide by 2. We get x equals 3. So. Um, that's not our answer though. We're just going to plug it now that we know what x is. x is 3. <coughs> a, B is going to be 3 times 3, which is 9. B, C is going to be um, th 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 6 is going to be also 9. And A, C, therefore, is going to be 18. And so, let's look at question number 2. Um, RS, RS is. 4x minus 6, st is 3x plus 4. And so um, if we set those equal to each other, 4x minus 6 equals 3x plus 4. Subtract 3x from both sides uh, and add 6 to both sides, right? Because uh, that becomes 0. Uh, x. Oops, sorry, that was super confusing. I'm going too fast. So what that ends up in is x minus 6 equals 4. Add 6 to both sides. We get x equals 10. 
RT is the whole distance. So 4 times 10 plus 6 or minus 6. Minus 6 plus 3 times 10 plus 4. So what is that? 40 minus 6, which is 34, plus 34, which is equal to 68. So RT equals 68. Okay. Finding midpoints on the coordinate plane. So we're essentially going to use this formula right here. That's, that's our midpoint. X1 plus X2 divided by 2. Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2. So... Uh, we just have to make sure we keep 1 and 2 straight. Okay, so we're going to use this formula x1 plus x2 divided by 2 as the first point. And then y2 plus y1 divided by 2. Again, it doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter in this case. Um, actually, it might, it might actually. Let me, let me take that back. I'm going to scroll that back. 1, 2. Okay, so let's take care of that. Um, x1 is 6 plus negative 6, because that's x2, divided by 2. 6 plus negative 6 is 0, so we're going to get a 0 in there somewhere. y1 is negative 3 plus um, positive 3, which is another 0. Interesting, divided by 2. So the midpoint of these two points is going to be 0, comma 0, because 0 divided by 2 uh, for both the x and the y values is just 0. Okay, so... Uh, from there, um, let's try question number two. So we'll make this one, we'll make this two. So again, uh, x1 in this case is going to be 7 plus <coughs> negative 5, which is the x2 divided by 2. That's my x value. y1 is 0 minus um, or plus negative 4 over 2, which is the y value. 7 plus negative 5 is 2. 2 over 2, which is 1. Ne 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So there's your midpoint. 1, comma, negative 2. Okay. And lastly, question number 2. Uh, we'll call this 1. We'll call this 2. x1 is negative 2 plus uh, x2 is 1 over 2. That's the first point there. y1 is 3 plus uh, y2 is 1 divided by 2, so it's going to be negative 2 uh, plus 1 is negative 1 divided by 2, so your first point is negative 1 half, and then your next point is 4 divided by 2, which is just 2, so negative uh, 1 half comma 2.